Hello knitters, this is Barbara Benson and this is my vlog number two. I don't know if I should call them episodes or what, but we'll figure it out. And I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make these videos on YouTube. My channel is called Watch Barbara Knit. And if you would like to see some of my patterns, I will be putting a link to my Ravelry store in the description. I couldn't figure out the card thing, so we're just not gonna mess with that. But I have figured out how to do it in like small ways. So, you know, it's a learning process. Today, I want to talk to you about TNNA. So last weekend was the TNNA summer show. And first you might wanna know, so what is TNNA? If you're in the yarn world, you've probably heard people refer to TNNA, but you might not quite have uh, caught what it is. So TNNA is the National Needlework Association, and it is the trade association of professionals who are actually in the industry. It covers all things yarn related like knitting and crochet and weaving and fiber but also needlepoint and cross stitch and and all those kinds of things now that part of it where it's the needlepoint part i i don't know anything about except for i love going and looking at all the cool stuff but the last thing i need right now is a new hobby. So I'm gonna stick to the knitting and uh, yarny types of stuff. Um, so that's what I can give you information about. The show itself is not open to the public. You have to be a member of TNNA to attend or show at the show. If you wanna have a booth, you need to be a wholesaler. You need to be selling stuff, but you're only selling it to retailers and the retailers come and walk around the booths and trade show and get ideas of what's new and interesting and what's coming up so they can get awesome stuff to put in the their local yarn store and then you the end knitter can go in the local yarn store and see all this stuff so that's the way it works so you can't just go to TNNA like you would Stitches or Vogue Knitting Live. It's for the trade, which makes it a little bit different. Um, you might be able to tell that my I sound a little bit funny because I had a booth with my distributor, Stitch Sprouts, and I shook a whole lot of hands. <laughs> And unfortunately, I think I brought back a little bit of con crud. So I've been recovering from a sinus infection. So if I sound a little muffled and there might be a little bit of coughing, that's why. But I wanted to get on this here video thing and talk to you about TNNA before it slipped my mind. I had so much fun talking to all the people walking around, people in the industry and all of the local yarn store owners. I love, love, love talking to local yarn store owners because it helps me get in touch with um, what's going on and what people want. And I can talk to them about my stuff and see how it'll work with their, like what they're trying to do with their store and what uh, my patterns might fit in with their plan. So that was a whole lot of fun. If you'd like to see what my booth looked like, I can link up here or up here, I don't know which place it's gonna come up, to a video that I put out right when I got home of me going and you see my booth and then I go and look at some other booths that I had permission to film in and there's some really cool stuff that you should check out if you haven't seen it yet. So in addition to talking to lots and lots and lots and lots of people, and lots and lots of designers and yarn people. We also had some fun with Stitch Sprouts and we did Facebook Live. I wonder, have any of you guys seen this whole Facebook Live thing that's coming up? It's kind of similar to Periscope, but I think it might be more accessible and I've been thinking about experimenting with it. So if you have watched any Facebook Live or any thoughts on it, um, please feel free to talk about it in the comments and if you'd like to see me do that on my Facebook feed and what it is 
is it's like this where I'm talking to the camera, but somehow you can like respond like you're responding to and I can see that you're responding and that could be a lot of fun. But we did the Facebook Live and those were really fun. And I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to bring them over if um, there's some interesting ones, but I'm not sure how that works. Technology, it makes my brain go. Um, what else did I do? I briefly got to walk around and talk to people because I spent most of the time in my booth. But I do have some stuff that I want to show you guys because it's really cool. So one thing I have is this super cool thing. It's called Fix a Stitch. And if you see, there are these cool little hooky things that will help you fix when you make errors in your knitting. And it has instructions. So I was thinking that I can try to do a video on this like I did with the Nostapina, or however that's pronounced, and see if I can work out how to use this because it looks like a handy dandy thing. And I also have another one that I can give away. And that's a question I have for you guys if you want to respond in the comments. Do you want me to try to run a giveaway here on YouTube or see it happen on Instagram or Facebook or how? What's the best place for you guys for giveaways because I'm going to figure out giveaways. But so fix a stitch. It's very cool. Look for it soon. And then I got so much cool stuff. Um, I stopped by Barocco. I, I adore Barocco yarn. They have some really interesting and different stuff and their colors are beautiful and it's a really accessible yarn. Um, a lot of yarn stores, stores carry it and I love it. And they had new yarns. One I'm very excited about is this Catalana? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is super cool because, and I have my little book here. The Catalana is 47% wool, 47% cotton, and 6% nylon. So for me, being here in the South, this is a fabulous blend and I, I mean, I love wool, don't get me wrong, but it gets really hot here and having options where you have um, other content in that kind of lightens up your yarn is great. And I got to actually hold a whole sweater made out of this yarn and it weighed like nothing, but the wool and the nylon is going to prevent, cotton has the bad habit of like like growing and getting longer as you wear it and that should fix this so I'm looking forward to playing with this and it's really cool it's got the where's my fingers this chainette construction which I think gives it the loft and I'm very excited and for some reason I'm thinking there might be a baby blanket in my future what do you guys think of baby blankets I don't know but I'm really loving this and then again, in the different blends, this one is 52% silk and 48% wool. So again, bringing the silk in is gonna lighten it up, but look, it's called ginkgo. And since it's the two, it's marled, it's not like completely blended, so it takes the color differently and the silk brings this fantastic shimmer to it and again it's lighter weight i'm very excited about this and i want to play with it again comes in beautiful colors and then look at this big fat chunky yarn it's so fuzzy but look how loose love it this is called noble and let's see here um ba, ba, ba. it is 98 percent merino wool and two percent something called polyester elite I'm very curious to see what it is, but it's super, super soft, and I'll have to play with it, see how it blocks, but I, whoop, <laughs> I will be looking at that. So, some really interesting new yarns from Barocco that I'm excited about. And then I went over to one of my yarny friends, uh, Mira at Ba Yarns. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. My Sardukar cow is in Ba. And I just wanted to talk to her, but she's so sneaky. She shows me these beautiful, beautiful yarns. And she does this thing where she takes yarns and like goes, ooh, look at these two together. Because you know I love color work. And she, she got me. She got me. Look, look at these two yarns. It's a burgundy. And this one's called hazelnut. 
Isn't that gorgeous? This kind of silvery, but it's got some kind of yellowy gold flecks. It's such a, oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a shawl someday, soon. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I love it. She got me. I'm such a sucker for yarn. Um, in the video I mentioned, I visited Stacy Trock with Fresh Stitches, and she just did a whole line of colors for Luet Gems. But she gave me this super cool thing. Look at this. It matches my shirt. This, see, her cute little owl. This is a needle case. Look. Isn't that cool? And it's hard-sided. Oh, it's all getting weird and blurry. Sorry. It's hard-sided, so you can put your stuff in here, and it's not going to poke out. But she's a big crocheter, so it's specifically made big enough to hold crochet needles. How cool is that? Um, and I have an extra one of these that we're going to see about giving away. How cool is that? I think that's an incredibly useful thing, and you can put scissors in it, and it's not going to poke anything. And then I wanted to point out this luscious thing back here. This is a shawl of mine called the Scarab Shawl but the yarn has been discontinued and the wonderful people over at Anzula just put out a new sport weight yarn called AVA, A-V-A, and this is the color Misfit and they knit up this sample and I think it's gorgeous in that it makes it more scarfy and I really like it. And there's, there's just so much, there's so much my brain is exploding. Um, I also went over to uh, Anzula and looked at all their colors. One of the fabulous thing about Anzula yarn, if you haven't looked at it, is that all of their colors come on all of their bases. So that is just monumental. And I was looking at their Nebula. Nebula, it's got Stellina in it and it's like super duper sparkly. And I think I finally have an idea. So if you're familiar with my shawls, I have done a whole series of two series actually, shawls and other accessories based on the Frank Herbert novel Dune, which is a science fiction novel and it's got all kinds of interesting imagery and it just, it just, it's, it keeps my brain going crazy. And I did five shawls that are in the House Atreides. It's kind of like medieval-y, so you've got the houses. So House Atreides, they're the good guys. And I did five shawls, they're all crescent-shaped shawls in House Atreides. And then House Carino was the Imperial, where the Emperor is. And I did three pieces, one of which is Golden Lion Throne, Irulan, and Sardukar. And my problem is I've been stuck because the next logical house to do is House Harkonnen. And House Harkonnen, they're the bad guys. And you know what? They're bad, bad, bad guys. So it's been very challenging for me to come up with something beautiful that kind of goes with Harkonnen. And I think that with Anzula, I'm gonna manage to do it because the sparkle yarn got my brain going and I think there's gonna be something coming up there. TNNA, if you are affiliated with a yarn store and you haven't made it to TNNA, you really need to because it is so wonderful to just be around other people in the industry. When I'm designing, this is it. I am in my little studio, in my house, and I'm kind of working in a vacuum. I got all my fabulous books, and I've got all my fabulous yarn, but I'm just kind of working away. And being surrounded by other designers and other people in the industry, it just, it inspires me. It fills me with ideas and I see what other people are doing and we can talk about things. And there are other people who I can actually have a 45 minute conversation with about how do you carry your yarn up the side and make sure it looks nice. And people don't think, well, I don't know if I can say they don't think I'm crazy, but they probably do think I'm crazy, but they actually understand. And so TNNA is, is fabulous. After the show is over, people hang out in the lobby and everybody knits and you can chat with people and it's just so much fun. So, whoo, it was a whirlwind. Um, is there anything else I need to chat with you guys about? Probably, I am going to work on making these vlogs more uh, frequent 
It's going to be a little tough over the summer because I do have a nine-year-old that I have to deal with. Right now he's at camp. I ditched him and went to the grocery store and then came back here to talk to you. Uh, but I'm pretty excited. We are going on vacation in the near future over like the July 4th weekend and we're going down to Florida and we're going to be on the beach. So I might see if I can get some video down there because that's a lot of fun. And so I talked about TNNA. I talked about knitting and I hope that you enjoyed listening to me talk and I look forward to chatting with you guys in the future. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to be alerted whenever I put up a new video, please subscribe to my channel.